Okay, so there's a chip here, which is really difficult to see on the camera. It is right in front of my finger here. Um, we're going to be filling that. And hopefully, it stops this from becoming a crack. Um, so I've never done this before. This is what I've bought to do it. The Permatex Windshield Repair Kit. Um, it has three stars out of five. I suspect people's problems with it have been a lack of following the directions properly. So we're gonna see how difficult this is. Um, I don't know, I have no idea how much it would have cost me to take the car somewhere and get this done, but I, I do wanna get it done. This kit was $17. So let's see what happens. Um, let me just see what the instructions say is the first step. Inside the package, we have this little syringe, um, resin, resin. This little suction cup thingy, this little white plastic piece, and the instructions. So step one is to clean, clean out any loose glass particles uh, using a push pin. Clean the area surrounding using a dry cloth and paper towel. Okay, place towel at the bottom of the windshield to catch any resin that may flow down from the repair area. to the instructions. Step two is to peel the white side backing off the adhesive disc, line up the hole with the center of the chipped area and ensure the tab is pointing towards the top of the windshield. Press adhesive disc to glass and run fingers around to ensure a tight bond. Uh, check inside of windshield to ensure there are no air bubbles. Okay. Okay, so after a quick drive to the store, I have purchased a new one, or exchanged it rather. Uh, the lady did not seem too happy with me. I don't think she quite believed me, but I did look inside here and I can see that the adhesive disc is there. So I'm gonna clean the windshield again and let's get right back into it. You can see the chip really well. Um, I've pressed this down. It's really difficult to see from the inside whether there are any bubbles, even though that is part of the instructions. Anyways, I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is peel the green backing and then line up the pedestal, making sure the tabs line up. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so we've got this installed. Um, run my fingers all around. It's, it's on there. It's on there good. So the next step is to probably pump it full of resin. Cut the tip off the tube. Slowly squeeze out three quarters of the resin. Leave one quarter in the tube. Wipe any excess resin from tip with cloth. Okay. Okay, so this now needs to sit for 10 minutes. I've sucked the air out. Um, after 10 minutes, we have to re-suck the air out and then let it sit for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna start a timer. Thank you. 
Okay, so this has been sitting now for 20 minutes. Where it says to remove the syringe from the pedestal, loosen the outer edges of the disc, um, and grip the tab and slowly pull it up off the windshield. Okay, so let's give that a try. Ah, okay, I don't have a razor, but I don't see any air bubbles in there, so I think we're okay from that perspective. Um, so it says to move the vehicle and park in direct sunlight for 30 minutes. Okay, so we've got the car parked at the very end of the driveway. There's a cloud overhead right now, but... Um, it is now 2.35, so I'm gonna wait until three o'clock and then I will peel that off and hopefully, hopefully by then it'll be cured and we'll be able to have a great result. Okay, you can probably see I've got my hair cut since yesterday when I did the repair, uh, but it's now a day later and the repair has gone extremely well. I'm so pleased. When I look at it from the outside, there's a very small indent, which you can see, but it's very, very, like you'd have to really be looking for it to know it was there. Um, suddenly it's hidden. The, the little divot where the chip was is tiny. From the inside, there is a small square area where you'd had the little plastic sheet pressed down. And in that area, there's a slight wavy effect. However, it's probably not really enough to detract from the overall quality of the job and I'm hoping that that will actually go away as it cures more with more UV rays. Uh, the, the instructions did say it would cure with UV. It also says that it probably won't fill the crack or chip to be completely smooth and that it would still be noticeable under close inspection. But I think that's okay. Um, I wanted it to not be noticeable while driving or to people who are looking at the car, but primarily I wanted to avoid having to replace the windshield. I've heard it can be very, very expensive in these new vehicles that have some of the uh, automated driving features like radar cruise or lane keep assist, which my Honda Accord does have. Overall, the project was fairly straightforward. It was definitely meticulous and I, I did try to follow the instructions very carefully, but the end result I couldn't be more happy with. And for $17, I feel like you really can't go wrong. Um, on the kind of the difficulty scale, I would give it a four out of 10. The one thing that was a little tricky was knowing how much resin was in the little tube. It's a very kind of thick tube and it was really difficult to know how much of it you had squeezed out. Uh, when you were kind of initially filling the pedestal, it was difficult to know whether you'd put in three quarters of the tube, half the tube, or the entire tube. And you do need one little drop at the end. Uh, but in my case, it turned out to be okay. I just did the best I could. And uh, I think that would probably work for you too. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you'll subscribe to my channel. I'm learning all the time and trying to get better, but I'm also looking for your ideas on things that I've done wrong or potential future ideas for other videos.